Okay, I've got another favorite muscle for you. This is a little teeny guy, and it's the only one at the knee, right? That doesn't that that helps with knee flexion, but actually doesn't cross any other joints at all. So it's just right at the knee. And if if you've got any knee injuries, any knee stress or misalignment, you can be pretty sure this one's affected. So sit for a second and put your hand on the back of your outer femur condyle and the inside of the top of your tibia. And imagine that if that contracted, right, to flex your knee, it will internally rotate your tibia, right? And then when you straighten, it has to be elastic enough to allow uh, the mo mo movement of the tibia to be kind of free under the knee. So it's a big stabilizer of the knee. Of course, if we have hyperextension, you can imagine that that muscle is struggling a little bit, right? It's also helping to hold the alignment of the tibia under the femur. So if you happen to have a pretty valgus knee, you know, a little bit more of a knock knee, it's also going to be a big player. So, and actually probably when you're bowed too, it's just doing a slightly different thing. So notice this, see if when you straighten your knee, that muscle is actually working in straightening the knee and in flexing the knee. And you're not just kind of popping in and out of straightening a knee, especially for something like footwork on the reformer, just practicing how you might literally control the straightening of the knee versus push out and drop the knee and then pop it into flexion again. Another place that would work quite a lot is on, well, what Romano would call the colitis exercise, where you have your, your knees hanging over the roll down bar and then you're rolling your spine up and down. It works a lot in that kind of flexion. You know, I can imagine in semicircle it's working. How would it maybe help in thigh stretch, knee stretches, right? And maybe you can play with it a little bit in tree, which is always a nice place to sit and focus and feel things moving. And for so many people who have knee injuries, knee struggles, you know, just finding the nuances and fine timing of these little teeny muscles that should be putting bones in the right place, but maybe aren't, can play a huge role in um, keeping your knees healthy or rehabbing them after injury or surgery, etc. Okay? The popliteus muscle.